Hi, and uh, welcome to module three. Um, in this module, we begin to classify arguments. I'm just going to make this a real short video. This one's fairly, I mean, you know, there's a lot of lessons, but it's it's kind of, there's different, there's basically two main types of arguments. There's what are called deductive arguments, and there's what's called inductive arguments. First of all, um, not everything that is out there is an argument. Um, sometimes it's just loosely associated ideas. Sometimes it's just, you know, uh, just, you know, statements that are loosely associated, things like that. Sometimes they're, yeah, whatever. I mean, they're just kind of just, uh, uh, you know, an explanation. Um, they're not really making, trying to prove a point. They're just explaining things. Um, but of those things that are actually arguments, there's two main types. There's what are called deductive arguments, and then there's what are called inductive arguments. Deductive arguments are arguments in which if the premises are true, the conclusion must necessarily be true. The reason is, is because the premises are stating categorical truths, definitional truths, mathematical truths, other things that you can't really assail. That if these premises are true and they've been organized in a way that the inferential claim is correct, they must be true. Inductive arguments, on the other hand, are the way we make a lot of arguments like, for example, well, I saw Joe did this, and then this was missing, and so clearly he must have stolen it, those kinds of things. Those are what we call inductive arguments. Even if all the premises are true, we may have forgotten some really important fact, because these aren't just coming out of definitions, mathematics, things like that. These are, uh, these, these, these are things that the more ideas, the better the, the premises, the stronger the conclusion, but you can never be 100% sure. With deductive, you are, and that's the whole difference between them. And so we have different types, things like predictions, like for the weather and things like that. Those are inductive because they could be wrong. Arguments based upon signs, uh, arguments, uh, you know, arguments um, uh from you know your past experience, things like this, and then your your math, you know your other arguments that are deductive are ones in which if the premise are true, the conclusion necessarily must be true, and so that's going to get into how you differentiate those, and this will also be a big category uh, for the final project, so please make sure uh, you know you might want to start looking for some of these or if you see these to make note of them because you will need that for the final project.